What's up, y'all? So after I got the car legal and went to put it on Turo, uh, it got denied. So basically, Turo actually does check if you have any open recalls. And in this case, there were quite a few. So I took it to the dealer and got them to knock out all the recalls. And while the dealer had it, they pointed out some other issues that the car had. Of course, it was nothing that I kind of didn't already know or expect after uh, cleaning it up and having it myself. But anyway, so if you look at the, the picture here, you can see the breakdown of how much I invested in the car so far. And then um, once the recalls were done, it went live uh, within a day uh, from me trying to list it on Turo. And then the same day that it went live, it was already booked. Uh, and then before it had returned from the first booking, it already had two more bookings. Um, so it's already, um, you can choose your insurance plan that you use when you put something on Turo. So you can choose a, a lower risk, uh, lower deductible, and then have less take home. Or you can choose to have higher risk and take home more of the profit from the rental. But um, I selected the default, which is a 75% take home and a deductible of $250 if something does happen to the car. Um, but yeah, so from the first three bookings, um, it took, it has a take home of about $830. So really not too bad. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised that it booked that fast for that long and that it's already, um, already proving that it could potentially pay for itself and maybe make a few bucks. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned.